Hello friends, great to see you once again. Pastor Pete here and uh, it's beautiful here in Dundee, Oregon and I'm glad you're joining me and uh, we have a chance for some coffee and conversation. So uh, get your coffee, uh, open your Bible to 2 Peter 1.12 and put a finger in Psalm 25. We're going to be there in just a moment. Uh, so let's go. Sometimes I get asked a question uh, that's not just about what does this mean from the Bible? I mean, I'm having those conversations a lot. That's a big part of what Coffee with Pete is, is how do we take a look at God's Word and understand it and apply it to our lives. But sometimes I get asked, Terry and I have been asked the questions recently, like how did we meet? Uh, why did we move to Dundee? Things like that. And I got asked a question the other day, like why Coffee with Pete? You're doing it all the time. And it's true, I love to do it. I'm having coffee with people four or five, six times a week. Uh, coffee is just the gathering. It's the time with people that really matters. But I thought I'd boil it down. And, and, and this, this is what I did with these scriptures. This is really kind of some of the describing the motivational and the, the purposefulness of this. In this second letter that Peter wrote to the churches that he was guiding, um, he says this thing in verse 12 of the, uh, 2 Peter 1 verse 12. He says, I intend always to remind you of these qualities Though, I, though you know them and are established in the truth that you have. So he's basically saying, as long as I'm on this earth, and in part this, this letter is introducing the fact that he knows his days are shortened, but as long as I'm on this earth, I intend to always continue to remind you of the truth in which your life is established. He talks about this being established. This word established meaning, I know that you know this and you're rock solid in it, it's a firm foundation for your life. I know you know, but I also know we all need and we all benefit from being reminded. So I'm just gonna keep reminding you. And that's really what Coffee with Pete's about. So thanks for joining me, that's great. Now, turn over to Psalm 25. Psalm 25 verses eight through 10 is what I wanna remind you of today. This is very simple, but I wanna remind you about this. It says this, it says, Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right, and he teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. This is just a simple truth, a beautiful thing about how God loves us and in relationship with us is giving us the ability and the means and showing us the way to live out a life that is pleasing to him. So I just want to encourage you today in that. I'm just reminding you of that today. Psalm 25 verses 8 through 10. He alone is our hope and our salvation. And I want to encourage you today to make time to remember and remind yourself of these truths. Write it down. Mark it up. Mark it in the Bible. Sing a song of praise to the Lord. Pray thanksgiving. Just thank him. Don't ask him for anything. Just thank him for who he is and what he's done. And then go and make time to have coffee with someone else. Call someone. Make a phone call. Go, go beyond the text message. And just spend some time and remind them about how firmly established they are or could be in God's love. God bless you today, friends. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to when we can meet again in person. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.